So as many of you know, as you level up your shoes, you will be getting upgrade points. This is how you can make your sneakers better and earn more per day. Now, I've told you in previous videos to basically use about 80% of your upgrade points on efficiency and 20% on resilience. Now, that still holds true and your sneaker will be earning you a great amount with that strategy. But if you guys are a stats nerd like me and you want to really optimize your strategy and optimize your upgrades, if you want to see what a difference a few points in one direction or the other can make, then I have a nice surprise for you guys today. In today's video, I will be showing you guys the calculator that I have been using to optimize my shoes potential. This calculator will show you guys exactly how much GST you can earn per day depending on what upgrades you make. You can also just put in your level and the points you have available and let the calculator optimize those points for you. You can add gems to your shoes and see how exactly it affects your earnings and much, much more. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing to optimize my sneakers that's currently making me over $240 per day. Then I will show you guys how I plan to optimize my sneakers going forward to max it out and hit over $500 per day. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. What's up guys, I am Jay and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. If you guys are new to step in, then make sure to watch these previous videos where I break down exactly how to get started with step in, how to go about buying your first shoes and the different strategies to use and a new update that just dropped recently. If you're in need of an activation code, then I also did a video on how to get an activation code. So make sure to check those out. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you do not miss another video that could potentially make you life-changing money. So let's go ahead and jump into this calculator. So the website is Step In Guide. Once you go to that site, then you will see that it brings you to this page right here, which is the Earn Calculator. Now, as a disclaimer, this is based on unofficial Step In community data. So real values may and probably will be different, but this calculator basically gives you an idea of how different upgrades and gems can affect your earning. A special shout out to the creator of this, which is 4MobR or 4Mobber. I'm not sure, but a special shout out to you. So let's take a look at exactly how to use this calculator. So the first thing you're going to do is choose which sneaker it is that you have. So if you have a common, choose common. If you have an uncommon, rare, etc. So for myself, I have an uncommon currently, so that's what I'm going to choose. Next, you have to choose what type of sneaker you have. So there's obviously walker, jogger, runner, and trainer. I have a jogger, so that's what I'm selecting. Now you're going to select your sneaker level, and this is where it can get fun. So here you can basically input your level or put future levels and have an idea of how to upgrade your shoe as you work your way up to that level, have an idea how much GST you can be making per day so for myself I'm currently at level 25 and I am actually working my way up to level 26 today so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit 26 next you have to input how much daily energy you have so if you have two just leave it at two if you have four put it at four I have five so that's what I'm setting set whatever your daily energy is now we have to set our attributes so to do this, go to your app, go to your shoe, and then hit base. So you don't wanna put what your upgraded attributes are yet, you wanna put in your base attributes first. So I'm just entering them all here on the left side under where it says base. Now I have all my base attributes set. So because my sneaker is at level 26, you'll notice that I have 156 points, which is the points that you get every time you upgrade your sneaker. You can see that with these base attributes, it's already showing me how much daily income I'm going to be making. Once we add in the points for the upgrades, you will see how drastically these numbers change. So currently my daily income is at 5.85 GST with just these base attributes. So now you can either add in your shoe upgrades exactly how you have them set, or you can just hit optimize and what this will do, it will optimize your points the best way that it thinks that you will make the most amount of GST per day. 
So I'm just hitting optimize and you see how it added all of my points already for me. So now with the upgrade points, you can see how my daily income has changed from, I think it was at five to 50.98 GST per day. Now, what exactly is this calculating? This is showing you exactly how much GST per day you're going to earn. It's going to show you your GST cap per day, depending, which is dependent on your sneaker level, your durability per day. So that's going to be based on your resilience and your daily energy, your repair cost per day, which of course is going to depend again on your resilience and your mystery box chance. So you can see that right now I only have the level one mystery boxes. Those are the only ones that I would be getting as I'm walking. If I wanted a shot at hitting any of these other mystery boxes, I would have to focus my upgrades more on luck. Now, because I'm not too worried about those mystery boxes, I'm more worried about how much I'm making per day. That's why I've focused all my upgrades onto efficiency and resilience. I've never even touched luck or comfort. Down the line, if I decide that luck and comfort are worth upgrading and it's something that I'm interested in, I have two different choices that I can make. I can either upgrade a brand new shoe and focus solely on luck and comfort, or they're going to be adding in a way to change your attribute points in order to do that, you will have to burn GMT. It's not something that's active yet, but it is in the plans for the future. So there are two different ways that you can basically reset your attribute points and change the way that they're set up. So now one of my favorite things to do here is go to the next levels. So let's say I decide I wanna max out my shoe and see how changing the different points into different areas will affect my daily income. So let's say if I decide from here on to level 30, I'm only putting all my points in efficiency. You can see that I can upgrade it all to efficiency. It would take me to 182 efficiency. At that point, I'd be making 54.19 GST per day. So that's pretty good, right? Now let's take a look at what the calculator thinks I should do. What the calculator thinks is the most optimal way to set up your sneaker as I upgrade my way to level 30. So I'm just gonna hit optimize and you see that it changed something where now instead of earning 50. 4.14 or something like that it's 54.33 so it's a little bit more that i will be earning but why exactly did that change how did it optimize it right so you'll notice that my efficiency actually went down the calculator thinks that i should keep my efficiency at 176 and what it did was upgrade my resilience to 30. so by doing that upgrade it changed my repair cost to 7.08 per day which is helping make me more money per day because my repair cost is less right because if I went back to where it was before it was at 24 and I was at 182 you see that my repair cost here is 8.26 now when you optimize it, it it switches those six points to resilient and at 30 my repair cost is 7.08 so that's one entire point of a difference right now another thing that's interesting is if you add on some points here you'll see at 25 repair cost doesn't change 26 Six, repair cost doesn't change 27 28 29 repair cost does not change so that magic number is 30 you see how that changed when I went from 29 to 30 look at that repair cost drops by one full point if I were to leave it at 29 and just upgrade my shoe I would be making basically one GST less per day that's because without this calculator I would not know that at 29 those extra five GST that I put in there does not make a difference at all so the optimized setup here is to make sure that it hits 30 because at 30 it drops that that all the way down to seven so you'll also notice here at 24 if we drop down to 23 look at that that number changes from 8.26 repair cost to 9.44 however if we keep dropping it down there's really no other big difference until we get to 19. So the main numbers here to know is 20, it drops the repair cost by one. At 24, once again, it drops it by another point. And then at 30, it drops your repair cost by another point. So this calculator lets you know the exact numbers that you need to be at for that repair cost to actually drop and for your resilient points to be worth putting them in. So because now if I, let's say if I took some points away from, uh, from my efficiency and I decided to put more in resilience, 
you'll notice that this has not changed. I've put in nine points so far and this has not changed yet until I hit 40. So 40 is that next mark where your resilience drops off, your repair costs, right? So if I brought it up to 40 and my efficiency at 166, you'll see that I'm actually earning less. I'm earning now 53.74. So that extra 10 into efficiency is just not worth it. The optimized strategy here for my shoe is to reach 30 resilience, which drops me off at 7.08 repair costs and keeping my efficiency up at 176.3 that gives me the most I can make with this shoe once it is maxed out, which is 54.33 GST per day. So now before I show you guys my exact setup for my sneakers right now, that's currently making me over $240 per day, over 50 GST per day, and how I plan on getting to $500 per day and over 100 GST per day, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, make sure you smash the like button. If you guys like making money like I do in crypto, whether it's through projects like Step In, maybe it's through trading, maybe it's through some passive income sources, I upload a video almost every single day about these topics. So please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto again. In addition to that, I answer every single DM that I get on Instagram and I also answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube channel. So leave a comment below if you have any questions. All right, so let's take a look at how I've been doing so far with my sneakers and how much I've been making. My sneaker is currently leveling up to level 26 today. Actually, right now, as we speak, it does take 26 hours, however, so I won't be able to actually get the upgrade until later on tonight. But you can see over the last four days, I've been consistently making over $240 and consistently doing over 50 GST per day. So here I've also been calculating my cost every day. This is how, this is my cost for repairing the sneaker. And then here, this is my cost for leveling up every single day. You can see that before when I only had one sneaker, I was earning a lot less. I was doing around $50 per day at that point. And once I changed to three sneakers, that's when my daily earnings drastically changed. And as I leveled the sneakers up more and more, then I've been earning more and more. This is why I say that your first goal should be to get to three sneakers as soon as possible. So far, I've earned over 1,000 GST in total, and at current prices, I've earned around $4,800. However, my profit is 398 GST, which is about $1,854. Now the difference is that I have to repair, I have a repair cost that I'm taking into account every single day, as well as a level up cost that I'm taking into account every day. So my biggest cost right now is the level up cost, which I'm almost done with. So once I've completed and maxed out my shoot to level 28 or 30, I will no longer have this cost, which would be an extra 500 GST since I started leveling up my shoes. By next week, my shoe will be completely maxed out as far as leveling goes, and I will no longer have that cost every single day. Now, a lot of you have been asking me for this spreadsheet. This is a very, very simple spreadsheet. I'm sure there's a more efficient way to create this spreadsheet. So if any of you guys are experts at Google Spreadsheets, and you wanna optimize this spreadsheet, then please do so, share it with me and I'll, and I'll share it with you guys. But for now, you guys can use this spreadsheet here. I'll go ahead and make this link shareable and share it in the description below. Now, last but not least, let me tell you my plan going forward to maximize my earnings, maximize my energy, and make $500 per day. So this is, again, my current sneaker here. This is what it will look like at level 30. However, I will be minting more sneakers so that I could get to nine sneakers. That will give me 10 energy or 50 minutes per day to earn. Once I've completed that part of it, I'm also going to be getting at least at the minimum level two gems for both resilience and efficiency. And in total, this should get me to 118.49 GST per day. 
Now, the current price of GST is at 472. So if we input this number 118.49 times 472, that is $559.27 per day. If we multiply this by 30, that would be $16,778. If we multiply this by 12 months, that would be over $200,000 a year. Now, is GST's price always going to stay this high? Are rewards always going to be this high? In crypto, things move quickly, guys. It's hard to think one year out, but let's say that even if either the price was halved, right? It dropped in half, or even if the rewards were cut in half. Even at that scenario, I'd still be doing $100,000 per year extra income, right? Just for walking, doing exercise, and getting fit, which is healthy for 50 minutes a day. That would still be good with me. So the idea right now is just to take full advantage of the current circumstances, try to optimize our sneakers and our strategy to earn as much as possible every single day, get our initial investments out so that we can be playing with house money and then see what happens from there because those are the things that you can control. We cannot control what happens with this project, what happens with the price, what happens with the rewards, right? We can only control what we can control. So that's what I am focused on. Now, with all that being said, if you guys want to know exactly what projects just like Step In, I'm getting into right when I get into them, then you need to join my mentorship program. In my mentorship program, I post the exact projects that I'm getting into as soon as I get into them after I vet them. So that means that you don't have to worry about rug pulls. I'm not out here throwing any Hail Marys. I do all the work for you and then I post it in the Discord channel before making these videos. For example, here I posted about Step In on March 17th, literally over one month ago, to my private Discord group. At that time, the sneakers were 9.67 sole or $870. Right now, the bottom floor price sneakers are 11.65 sole or $1,200. That's literally a $400 difference from when I first got in. Also, back then, you didn't have to worry about these activation codes. In addition to that, I share every single trade that I take every single day with my complete trading plan, entry, stop loss, take profit, all of it. Now, there are a limited number of spots for this, so if you're interested, make sure to go down to the description and hit the link below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity and the way it is set up right now, the easy opportunities to make money will not last forever. I went from a high school dropout to a failed musician to a regular nine to five worker until I was able to retire back in 2017. Now I do crypto full time and then I'm literally a professional walker. So if you guys are interested, sign up in the description below. If you're new to Step In, I strongly recommend that you check out these next two videos the Step In Beginner's Guide and the Step In Strategy Guide so you can start moving to earn and maximize your profits. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, peace and love.